Hey guys, it's Lisa from ToCreateWebsite.com. I just upgraded my blog to Thesis 1.8, the latest version. And so a couple of people have asked me to do a video just talking about what's new with this version. Should you buy Thesis? If you're rocking 1.7, should you upgrade right now? What's new? What's going on? Well, probably the biggest new feature in Thesis 1.8 is the header image uploader. Probably one of the biggest problems newbies have with their thesis blog is changing their header. In previous versions, there wasn't really an easy way to do it. I mean, it wasn't that hard if you have somewhat of a background with CSS, HTML, but if you're a complete newbie, a lot of people complain that they didn't know how to upload the, the header image. So it's really cool that the people over at DIY Themes listened to this request and they honored it. And so now when you go into your WordPress control panel, over under the thesis menu, you see you have a header image option. So now you just hit browse and they even tell you that the size, they, they give you a suggested size for your theme. So now you can just upload your header to replace the existing header. So that's pretty cool. The other new feature is the SEO character counters. Um, so you don't go over the character limit for the meta description field, if that's something that you're concerned with. There are new Google fonts, which is kind of cool. So now when you go to design options and then under fonts, colors, and more, you will see here that all the fonts that have the, the G after it are the new Google fonts. So that's pretty cool. You've got a new, uh, option when it comes to selecting your fonts. What else is new? Um, oh, the WordPress nav menu support. You may or may not know that with WordPress 3.0, you can now create your own menus, navigation menus in WordPress. So if you were to go under the appearance tab and then down to menus, you could create like a new category menu for your categories. So you would say create menu and then you could just come down here. Now this is all WordPress guys, this is not thesis. I'm gonna show you where thesis comes into play in just a second. So you could just say select all, add to menu. And so now you've got a category menu and you can just drag these around and you can make subcategories by moving them over like that. There's a ton of things that you can do. And then you come up here and say save menu. Now, how to style that menu, that's where thesis comes into play. So now when you go to um, the site options and under navigation menu, it says select menu type. So if you've decided to use the WordPress navigation menu, then you would choose the radio button for WordPress nav and then save. And then to style that menu, and this is where thesis comes into play, like with the colors and whatnot, you would go to the design options and then you would go to the nav menu and then you can choose your colors for the menu. So another cool feature. So those are really the big changes for 1.8. Oh, there's also a favicon uploader. For those of you guys who don't know, the favicon is just that little icon that appears next to your website address in the web browser. So if you go back to the thesis menu, you see favicon uploader and you can just upload a favicon right there. So that's a nice little handy feature if you don't want to do it manually through your FTP program. So that's Thesis 1.8, really. There are a couple of other features, but these were the big ones. Um, for me, I'm really, yeah, I just upgraded because I paid for it and I get free upgrades, and so I wanna have the latest edition. I'm personally not really using any of the features that are new to this edition. I already have my own custom header that I did with CSS, my own custom CSS. Um, I already have a favicon. I'm not using the WordPress menu. So a lot of the features for this version, um, Honestly, I'm not really going to use, but the cool thing about having a paid theme like this is that you're always going to get new upgrades for free. And I love the fact that WordPress, for example, created a new WordPress navigation menu and thesis with their latest upgrade made sure that they made changes. So their theme is compatible with the navigation menu. So that's a big advantage of having a paid theme. You've always got a theme that is going to work well with the WordPress updates because you know WordPress and thesis they're not affiliated with one another so having a paid theme allows me to keep up to date so if WordPress makes this huge change and something breaks in my theme it's great to know that the folks over at DIY themes are always working to make sure that their theme is compatible with 
um, the latest version of WordPress. So that's a cool thing. So that's that's WordPress 1.8 in a nutshell. There's been some rumor out that Word, um, excuse me, Thesis 2.0 is coming out soon, and it will there will be a price increase. So if you already have Thesis, so if you have if you bought 1.8, 1.7, whatever. Um, you'll get a free upgrade. So that's cool for people like myself. When they do increase the price for 2.0, it's nice to know that I'll get a free upgrade. So some people are saying that if you're going to get in on Thesis, you may want to get it now because the price may go up when 2.0 comes out. And then you can just lock in that price if you get it right now. So just something to think about. I like Thesis, guys. I've been using it now for 18 months, a year and a half. This is the longest I've ever used one theme. I, you know, I change up my design, of course, but I've kept the same thing because I really like it. I am somewhat savvy with CSS, so I do a lot of my own custom CSS, but some things I don't like doing. And so it's nice to have the little shortcuts here and there that Thesis provides. Um, as far as the other features, for those of you guys who are new to Thesis altogether, they still have their same um, menu options, for example, when you go to the design options, you can still choose how many columns you want. I have a two column blog. You can set the width. You can change the column order very easily by just choosing the radio button. Um, you have display options for your header, bylines. You can choose so many different things. You can have teasers for your home page that show the post title date. Teasers are what you see on my home page. That's how I got these little snippets. So those kind of things I did, I use the shortcuts that Thesis provides. So. I'm sort of like a, I don't know, an intermediate user, if you will. I use some of the shortcuts, but I also do a lot of my own custom CSS. But the great thing about Thesis is if you're a complete newbie and don't want to fool with the CSS, true, your blog may not be as customized, but you'll still be able to do a lot using their menu options. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>